Huh. Hello everyone, welcome once again to the Month of the Mystical Fools. Today on the agenda is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 for DS. That's right, once again I'm doing different versions. Uh, okay, now it decides to kick in the music. That's funny. What the? My lord, the Order of the Phoenix intends to move Harry Potter from his current place of safety next Saturday at nightfall. I shall attend to the boy in person. There shall be no more mistakes where Harry Potter is concerned. My job's to get you to safety. Hold tight, Harry. Looks like Mad-Eye Moody's plan's working. With the other Order members disguised as you, Harry, we should be able to move you without being spotted. Like I said in the PC version, they made it a little too obvious by making the real one Harry Potter. I mean, the real one with Hagrid. What's that up ahead? Watch out! Death Eaters! That's pretty cool how you just tap the screen instead of... Okay, here we go. There's more of a definitive health bar this time around, though. This might be a bit trickier. That's uh, that's kind of cool. That they still thought they still took the time to make this, even if there's obviously a bit of draw distance concern. Take this. This isn't so bad. It's got to pay attention, you know. You can't completely fall asleep on this. Here we go again, Harry. Hold on. Doesn't look half bad, all things considered. Obviously not as good as the console and PC versions, but, you know, not bad. There was an attempt. Oh boy. Stupefy. I stupefy you because you are stupid. I think we lost him, Harry. I think we've done it. It's Voldemort! I just follow him with a... Keep him in your gaze, no problem. Avada Kedavra! Saving. There's no, there's no sound at all. Harry dear, I'm glad to see you up and about. You and Hagrid took quite a tumble when you crashed into the garden. How are you feeling? Feeling a lot better. Thank you, Miss Mrs. Weasley. I should make him sound like Duke Nukem just because. It was terrible news about Mad Eye. You know who acted expectedly as Mad Eye expected him to, expecting the real Harry to be with the toughest, most skilled Aurors. That's why they went for him first. Yes, it's terrible. But if it hadn't been for the plan, things could have been a lot worse. Now, Harry, the Minister for Magic, Rufus Scrimgrier, is here to see you. All three of you, in fact. But we've already established that Voldemort controls the Ministry. Please take a seat, I require a word with you. Also with Mr. Ronald Weasley and Miss Hermione Granger. I am here because Dumbledore has left you things in his will. To you, Ronald Weasley, he left his... Deluminator. To Miss Hermione Granger, his copy of the Tales of Beetle the Bard. And to you, Harry Potter, the snitch you caught in your first Quidditch match. He also left you the sword of Godric Gryffindor. So where is it? Unfortunately, the sword was not Dumbledore's to give away. Besides, we have not been able to locate it at present. Why do you think Dumbledore wanted to give you the sword? Maybe he... Th maybe he thought it would look nice on my wall. Or maybe it's because I killed a giant-ass snake with it. I mean, who knows? This is not a joke, Potter. You are not at school anymore. It's time you learn some respect. Wow, the dialogue is a bit more snippy than the PC version. It's time you earned it. You go too far. Boy. No, do you want to give him an excuse to arrest us? Come on, let's go. Saving. Please do not touch the game card. 
Well, at least this looks better than the other versions on the D than the last version on the DS. It was basically just Resident Evil. That's close to Harry to walk or far away to run. Try moving to the area marked on the map. Sadly, there's no PSP version whatsoever, not even a hand-me-down of the DS version. Not bad, though. Uh, okay, great! There we are! I have got so much to do for the wedding, can you give me a hand? But, Mom! You are helping and that's the end of it. But, don't you mind... Don't mind helping out, do you, Harry? Uh, not at all, Mrs. Weasley. What exactly is it we can help you with? I know there's someone trying to kill me, but I guess this is more important. You're a good boy, Harry. There are pixel- There's some pixies which have been causing mischief. Can you and Ron get rid of them for me? Thanks, dear. Uh, no problem. Great, thanks for the backup, Harry. The pixies must be hiding somewhere. Let's try looking into that pile of junk. How are we gonna do that? Let's use Wingardium Leviosa to throw it out of the way. Tap on an item with the stylus to cast Wingardium Leviosa. Well done. Tap anywhere on the touchscreen to throw the item. Nice. Okay, actually I got an idea. Ah, uh, okay. Darn it, I thought I... Potion ingredient. I think I saw something in the bushes up. Let's try over there. Try tapping on a sparkly object to reveal hidden secrets. Okay. Hmm, try another one. Tap on an enemy to cast Stupefy. Well. This is weird. Hey, hey! You're too far away, I can't target you. Why can't I target you? Looks like there's still a couple more there. Shut up, Ron. Heh. <laughs> Take that. Get wrecked. Darn it, if they get too close, I can't hit them. Nice one, Harry. Now that the pixies have been taken care of, we should go out and get ready for the wedding. Did you understand how to use the basic controls? Yeah, I guess so. That just looks janky. Real janky. That looks janky. Real janky. Is everything all right, Harry? You look worried. I see she's still wearing that red dress, but obviously that was from the movie. I was just thinking about the mission that Dumbledore gave me before he died. To find and destroy Voldemort's remaining Horcruxes? There will be plenty of time to find you-know-who's Horcruxes later. But this is a wedding and I'm starving. What time is the food going to be served? Do you ever think about anything else apart from your stomach? Now these models don't look half bad for DS. I mean, there's something weird going on with Hermione's eye, but that's about it. Well, excuse me, Hermione, but after the hard work we did, getting rid of those pixies, I think I've earned a good feast. They seem to recall it was me that did most of the work, you bastard. Details, details. Anyway, Hermione, nice dress. It's the same color as your face when you get angry. Wow, way to ruin it, Ron. Who is that? Actually, that's some pretty good emoting from Hermione. You can actually see her eyes squint. That's Xenophilus Lovegood, Luna's father. Did you see that symbol he had on his chain? I wonder what it stands for. I think I've seen it somewhere before. Anyway, I'm going to find Jenny. See you later. The Ministry has fallen. Scrimguire is dead. They are coming. Wait, what? That, 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 that just happened fast, didn't it? What? I I'm sorry, what? Well, that shit went down really fast, didn't it? Okay, then. Use up a little of your ability bar. Fill up your bar by collecting magic points. Yes. That's more like it. Sweet.
Now we just cast a barrier, then fire away. No problem. What in the world is that? Uh, I guess I gotta kill all the enemies before I'm allowed to proceed. That's better. I wonder if we'll be going along London just like before. Hopefully there won't be any stealth sections. Not that I was completely against it, but... I can see why many people were not such big fans of it. Oh, you're casting it too. How dare you. Only I, the main character, may cast shield magic. How dare you. It's cheating. It's totally cheating what you're doing. You're not allowed to do that, so stop it. How dare you? You you already have the numbers advantage. You you aren't allowed to buff yourself. I have deemed it so. I'm the main character, mother fricker. Take this. Now that's more like it. You picked up a potion. Herbicide. Okay. Wouldn't that just kill herbs uh, or whatever? I guess I won't question it too much. This time. Oh, there you are, Hermione. There you are. Hurry up. Hurry up. We need to get out of here. How nice of you to wait for us. What? Couldn't they have just used some kind of sparkly effect, not have them literally fly? That just looks weird. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Where are we? Shatsbury Avenue. I think it was the first place I could think of. We need to find somewhere safe to hide. Here, I've got clothes for both of you. And Harry, you'd better take the invisibility cloak. Uh, okay. Tap the icon to equip the invisibility cloak. Remember to avoid touching people. Uh, generally speaking, you should probably try to avoid touching people. <laughs> I think we should get out of sight. You should get out of sight before you use the cloak, Harry. Good point. Um, I can't. I'm about to say. Okay. Well, somehow it affects both of them. Because that makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> you understand how to use the invisibility cloak. I mean, you pretty much just avoid touching people. Luckily, unlike the PC version, you don't also have to stop every so often to fill it up. <laughs> you just move a lot more slowly. Which I suppose is a fair compromise. Uh-oh. Hey. Well, I mean, I'm walking in the street and no sane person would do that. Oh, crap. Watch where you're going. Oh, I'm in trouble. Wow, we didn't immediately fail that. That's, um... That's a shocker. Weird. This is also a lot more forgiving than the PC version. I didn't immediately fail. Nice. Oh, they're emitting sound. You can actually see it on the touch screen. That is rather interesting, isn't it? In fact, they are still emitting sound. But it doesn't really matter as much. Hopefully we won't have to look through for the newspaper stand and that woman speaking. Hopefully we can just go straight to the cafe. Probably. Not a half bad rendition of London, though. Obviously, it's not going to look anywhere near as nice, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I think. Also, I love how that guy didn't even question the fact that Harry was invisible until just then. Oh, you know, there's people appearing out of nowhere. It happens all the time in London. Didn't you know that? Then again, they teleported there instantly, so if anyone had seen them then, they would have been messed up too. Uh-oh. Hey. 
Hey. None of that. Shame on you. Not too shabby. I guess the real challenge is trying to get all those and remaining undetected. Let's sit down somewhere. Look, this will do in here. Saving, please do not touch the game card or turn off the power. Yep, those two people are Death Eaters. So, where do we go from here, the Leaky Cauldron? Too dangerous. If Voldemort's taking over the Ministry, none of the old places are safe. What do you think, Harry? I think we're in trouble. Wow, jeez, they took out Ron. Holy crap. Take this. There's more of them. What should we do? Let's slow them down. Use your Arresto Memento spell. Use or mind use Arresto Memento spell. Use the down or the B button. Cool. Great. Arresto Memento can give you the upper hand for a short time, even when outnumbered. This spell will drain your ability bar when in use. Did you understand how to cast Arresto Memento? Awesome. That's so cool. Slowing down time. I love it. That's one of my most favorite abilities. Did I just push that one physically? Also, can Hermione just choose who gets affected by it? Because it seems like she can just do it whenever she wants. Then again, Harry somehow put Hermione into the invisibility cloak, so maybe it does just it just doesn't matter. Maybe I shouldn't ask questions. I can't quite call it the world because it only slows down time rather than eliminating it. Breako the stupidity. How did they find us? What are we gonna do? Also, that was actually not half bad for an in-game cutscene. We need a safe place to hide. Give us time to think things through. I know where we can go. Grimald Place. Let's go before any of them, any more of them turn up. Well, I'm going, I'm breezing through this faster than on the PC. Harry, I could use the deluminator on that street lamp. The deluminator can be used to turn off certain lights in the environment. Okay. B e button to use the deluminator. Enemies cannot find you in the dark. Can I just kill them? There, we can get past without them seeing us. Can you just kill them? I kind of just want to kill them. Fine, whatever. Okay. The Illuminator drains the ability bar. Collect magic points to keep the ability bar full. Yeah, I suppose I did. Oh, crap. Oh, this sucks. Oh, jeez. We should see which ones are about to shoot and then act accordingly, I guess. Take this. Uh, Ron, you might want to get behind me. They're not even the one you're... You're not even the one they're supposed to be after. I'm supposed to be the one they're after, and yet they're going after you for some reason. Are you just that good at grabbing people's attention? Are you that good at making yourself hittable, Ron? No offense. Oh, I see. I should have cast <laughs> Luminous, huh? Or not. Ah, shit. Eh, now they can't see. Then I'll still kill them anyway. I love how they're confused, but I'm just gonna kill them anyway. Yeah, I don't give a crap. Oh, wait. Hold up. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I freaking doing? Uh, go back. No, no. Stop, stop. 
Sheesh. Okay, we found enough ingredients to brew a potion. Press select to choose which potion to brew. Okay. Thank you. Number of bags. Number of bags needed for each potion is shown at the bottom. Brew potion. Wigan Weld potion. Wait. You need two and I have two. Why can't I use it? Okay, I see. I was confused. Chop and slice. Oh, uh, okay, it's a mini game. Awesome. Shake. Okay. Okay, this is very, um, demanding. Or. Uh oh. My bad. Yeah, that's about right. Swirl. Uh oh, I don't have enough time. Okay, that's about enough. Poor. Hurry up. That's better. Dur. Uh oh. Yeah, I mean, I, I mostly. Come on. That's a jerky thing to do. I didn't even know what to do. Okay, granted, I could have read it, but, you know. I didn't know it was that demanding. Okay, come on, come on. Man. That's better. Doing a lot better this time. See, everything's just fine. Now I'm not teetering on the edge of collapse. Bingo. Just gotta stir it until it's the right temperature. Evidently I'm not stirring hard enough. Great. Eh, it's still good, it's still good. Rub. What? How many steps are there to this damn thing? Give me three potions. Sweet. That's more like it. Got it. Do you understand how to brew potions? Yes, I do. Which, fortunately, I need. Maybe not fortunately, but I do need potions. Make your way to the grim old place. How do I use the... Oh, okay. I already used it. I'm an idiot. Anyway. Gotta make our way down. Not that way. We gotta go this way. Well, that wasn't very smart. I guess I'll just spam the B button until he takes one of them. There we go. Let's just go ahead and run. Screw it. Saving, please do not touch the game card. That's better. Are those supposed to be shadows? Looks kind of weird. Are you sure it's safe to be here? Snape is bound to try looking for you here, Harry. Ron's dad said the orders put up jinxes against him, so this should be a safe place to hide. Even if Snape can't get in here, this place looks a mess. I bet there are loads of spiders in there. I'm not going any further until you get rid of them all. Whatever, you big baby. Hermione, you're willing to help me, right? You're not a big coward like Run, right? I guess the idea is that you only have one partner at a time. In this case, it's Hermione. Or at least we can slow down time, which is probably far more useful in combat situations than, you know, just sucking lights out. Looks clear now, Ron. Good. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's spiders with their hairy legs and creepy looking. Yes, Ron, we all know you're scared of spiders. Now let's go and find somewhere to rest for the night. Do, 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 do. Well, that wasn't the best night's, well, that wasn't the best night's sleep I've ever had. 
Me neither. It doesn't seem to be bothering Rod, though. Well, what should we do now? Let's take a look around to see if we can find anything helpful. You see what I mean? You can only have one partner. There has to be contrived reasons for one partner to not be with you at all times. No matter how ridiculous. Darn it. Saving. Please do not touch the game card or turn off the power. That's better, I guess. Okay, let's go down here. Or not. I guess we gotta go this way. Okay, cool. We can go this way. Awesome. What's this? You picked up a letter. Wasn't that Siri Sirius' Sirius's old room? Yes, it was, and look what I've just found. What is it? A letter from my mother. It mentions Bathilda Bagshot. Bathilda Bagshot, the author of A History of Magic. She was an incredible ma magical historian. Look at the sign on the door. Regulus Arcturus Black. The lock at the Dumbledore and I found in the cave was inscribed with R.A.B. It has to be the same person. He must have taken the real Horcrux, but how do we find it? Creature of the House Elf. We had better go and see if Creature's in the kitchen. Probably. It's always a distinct possibility, my friend. Always gotta save. You know, this isn't bad for DS. I mean, yeah, it's probably not the best that they could have done, but not bad. You know, for a licensed tie-in for the DS. Those tend to, ha to not be that good. Exploding potion. Cool. Picked up a potion bag, a potion ingredient. Picked up a spellbook page. Cool. I think it said collect three. Hmm. Interesting. We can go even further down. Oh, wait. Ah, there's Creature. Hello. Creature, your old master Regulus owned a locket, didn't he? Where is it? Creature does not have it now. The locket was taken. So who does have it? Mundungus Fletcher took it. He wanted to sell Master's Locket for gold. Who did he sell it to? Dolores Umbridge. Oh, great her. If Umbridge has a locket, then it means it will be in the Ministry of Magic. We have to get it. Let's go. Don't be silly. We would need Polyjuice to even get near the Ministry, and we don't have the ingredients. Wait, I saw a potion cabinet in Sirius's room. Perhaps we can find the ingredients there. I'll wait here. Come and get me when you have found them. See what I mean? Contrived reasons to only have two people at a time. This game must be following Sith rules because there can only be two. See what I did there? Eh? Eh? Yeah, whatever. They think I'm hilarious. You can disagree with me if you want to. But don't be a hater about it. Ah, uh, here it is. It's supposed to be Sirius' room, I think. Wait, there was a potion cabinet somewhere. Or not, I have no idea. Does the game actually tell you where it's supposed to go? Because I have no idea. Mm. Ow. Uh, Hermione, a little help, please? No? Fine. Spellbook page. Cool. Thanks, Hermione. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate the help there. I can really feel the camaraderie coming from you. You're the new Ron. Potion bag. Potion ingredient. Darn it. Ah, darn it. Potion bag, potion ingredient. Better not have anything between me and her. Take this, Hermione. Ah, crap. I was between them. Ha. Huh. 
Not this time. Unfortunately, I'm all out of time, though. I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like magic. It seems it did end up in the same spot, around the same spot as the PC version, even if it's for different reasons. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.